What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today I'm doing a 10 month kind of review check-in on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. You guys know that's my main phone. Of course, I have tons of other phones throughout the year. New stuff comes out. I even got the Xiaomi 14 Pro. I mentioned that on Twitter. But this is my main daily driver and I want to talk about it, especially because the S23 Ultra is currently $899 if you purchase it through my link using the Shop Samsung app. So if you use the link, it'll be in the description in the pinned comment and you install the Shop Samsung app from the Play Store, which I'll also put in the pinned comment and description. It'll open the Shop Samsung app automatically and it will give you the special price, which is $899. So that is a really, really great deal. And uh, if you guys purchase it through my link, if you're interested, send me an email. I can actually get you an additional $50 off. Um, just let me know that you're going to order it through my link. You'll have to shoot me an email. Uh, it's going to be jeff at dopetechdaily.net. Um, I'll put that in the description as well if you want to get an extra 50 bucks. $849.99 is a great deal for this phone. It's actually, you know, been out for, you know, about 10 months, like I said, but it's a great phone steal. And even though the S24 Ultra is coming up, if you don't care about some of those upgrades, it might be a good time to jump about it. And that's exactly what I'm talking about in this video. Um, so before we do get started, thank my son Jonathan, as always. We got the T-Rex Triceratops hanging out. We always appreciate him giving us a couple dinos for the video. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in and talk about the S23 Ultra. Before we get to all the positive stuff, I'll tell you the one thing that really kind of bothers me about this phone. And uh, it's the same issue as last year. You guys can probably see it here on the video if I turn it the right light. There it is. The oleophobic coating on this phone has not held up as well as some of my other phones. The iPhones, the Xiaomi phones, uh, the Pixel phones, they all tend to have better oleophobic coating on them. And this is something that I would say is because I use this phone more than anything else. But I also know other people who have a secondary Galaxy phone, they use their iPhone primarily, they've also mentioned this issue to me as well. Is this a deal breaker? Of course not. There's actually a lot of options. I use the Woosh screen cleaner, which I'll drop the link below if you guys wanna check it out. I'm actually thinking about putting those in some of the S24 Ultra mystery boxes. So if you guys are gonna be ordering the S24 Ultra, check out that below. Um, very exciting program there. The Woosh stuff is great. It takes care of some of the oil, gets it off your device. Um, but it is kind of annoying, and I really wish Samsung would improve that for the next iteration of the device. Now, other than that, the build quality has been great. Let me take off my case. By the way, if anyone's interested, we're using the Kadabi green case today. Um, the build quality has held up really well. Uh, I haven't really dropped this phone. I try not to drop my phone too often, but, you know, some people are clumsy and drop them all the time. But uh, sides have held up well. I don't really have any scratches. I mean, obviously, it's really hard to tell because I <laughs> have all these fingerprints on here, like I said, but uh, I haven't really got any scratches or anything on the glass. I am very careful with my phone though. I didn't really put it, you know, in and out of my pocket with keys or change or anything like that. But uh, overall, been happy with the build. Uh, I do think one thing that I would like to see, which we're going to see with the S24 Ultra, is I, I'm not a huge fan of the curved sides. This, of course, is a personal preference, but uh, we pretty much know from the leaks we're going to have flat sides on the S24 Ultra. I think it makes it easier to hold, easier to use for productivity tasks. So that's a personal thing, but that's not a complaint. In terms of the speed, this phone is just super, super snappy. Um, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is great. In fact, like I said, I actually have that here on the Xiaomi 14 Pro. I'm gonna make a video on this, kind of comparing it a little bit. And it is great. And, and it, it always seems a little faster when you've got that new phone in your hand, that new phone smell. It seems like a faster processor. But the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is fantastic, and there's really no need unless you, you know, just want the newest thing to, to, to upgrade to the S24 Ultra for the processor alone. Uh, One UI 6.0 has made this phone even better, in my opinion. Uh, by the way, if people are interested in getting the more dense layout here, you can use Quickstar from Goodlock. I have a video on the channel on how to do that, uh, so you can get more quick tiles up here. But One UI 6 has made this even snappier. The animations are nice. Um, they were actually a little better on the ninth beta than they are on the stable version. I now have the stable version here on my unlock model. But overall, they've been really, really good. Uh, you've got the S Pen, which you can't get on any other flagship phone. Um, Samsung definitely could still add a few things here and there to the software, but no main complaints with One UI 6.0. And plus, there's really no reason to upgrade to the S24 Ultra purely for a software perspective because we all know once the S24 Ultra comes out in late January, early February, uh, with One UI 6.1, most likely, 
the S24 Ultra is gonna trickle right down to the S23 Ultra. And so if you have this phone, you're gonna get the new software, whatever new features come out as well. There's still a couple little, you know, camera issues in terms of like shutter lag and things like that, but nothing huge. Samsung added some new features to camera assistant just recently, which I really love. Uh, one of those is distortion correction. The other one is this one, upscale digital zoom inside the high resolution settings. Those are all now found inside camera assistant inside the main camera settings. I mean, I don't know whether there is on this phone that you, you could want that isn't really in here. Uh, the camera's great. The battery life, I guess I will say that. This is not a super negative, but the battery life is not above and beyond great. Uh, when I And it has degraded, of course, some over the time of using it, because I use this phone really heavy. Having it for 10 months, the battery life started out about six hours, screen on time with my average use. I do use a lot of wireless Android Auto, which drains a ton of battery. Uh, but now I get maybe five to five and a half. You can see it's 2.30 p.m. I'm almost to 60%. So this just barely lasts me till the end of my day. I usually wake up around seven, go to sleep around midnight, 12.30, somewhere around in that general area. Um, obviously I should get some more sleep, but that's that's the way it is. Uh, it, it, it gets me, you know, just there, maybe with like five to 10% left. Very rarely do I need to top it up, but sometimes I feel like I want to just because when it gets close to 50% and it's like four or 5 p.m., I'm like, well, if I'm gonna go out, I wanna have a little bit extra juice, I top it up. But the battery life has overall been passable. I would like to see that improved. And if you're a super, super heavy user, that might be a reason why, like me, you decide to upgrade your phone every single year, get that fresh battery. That's something else that's just on top of the new features I think that a lot of heavy users really like and care about. I don't think there's anything else that, that is really negative to say about this phone. See, mine got a little dirty there from being in the case. Um, I've been using it with a case the whole time too, so that's another reason why it hasn't gotten too, too beat up on the outside. But uh, I hope Samsung offers some cool color options again with the S24 Ultra. I really enjoyed this lime color. I know some people have asked if I regretted getting this. Not really, I actually like it. I mean, I keep it in the case a lot, so. Obviously that lime color becomes this dark green when I put the Kadabi on it, but uh, I, I don't regret getting this. I hope Samsung continues that. I've really enjoyed it. The camera is is great. I mean, obviously there's some cameras that have come out that are closed borderline, but I don't think you can say there's any camera that blows away the S23 Ultra in every facet. There's some that are a little bit better at night, a little bit better on this or that, but in terms of having the best overall, you know, telescoping zoom with the best range, the S23 Ultra is there. I mean, this is a great phone. And at the price, like I said, $899, if you go through the Shop Samsung app, I'll drop my link below. You have to use it to get that special pricing. It's not on the website. Uh, and if you email me, if you want to buy an S23 Ultra, I can help you out with getting an extra $50 discount. You have to email me, jeff at dopetechdaily.net. Take advantage of that. I don't know how long it'll be going on. Somewhere around Black Friday or maybe Cyber Monday, it might end. But I'm posting this kind of overview this week to tell you guys my experience. Been really, really happy with the S23 Ultra. Also, uh, heck, if you're gonna buy an S24 Ultra, keep in mind, we have the S24 Ultra Mystery Box program on my website every year at the launch. We give out a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, put in your phone number, email, all that cool stuff. I mean, phone number, your name, hit submit, no cost to you. We cover shipping, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be in the pinned comment description as well. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.